science uh, in the exhibit department. Today we're loading in a uh, new summer show. It's going to be Amazon Fishes. Uh, Amazon Lunch. What's it called? My name's Carl. I work in the exhibits department. I've been here at the Hall of Science for just about six years, and I did work here back in the late 80s for a year. And today we're uh, loading in um, Amazon Voyage, which is a pretty big exhibit. This driveway, the narrow back. Take some new tractor trailers. Uh, we've loaded in two so far. This is the last one. You can hear them in the background. Um, we will take up the entire lower level of our museum, which is approximately five to 6,000 square feet. Uh, it did involve a lot of moving of exhibits that were currently there and had been there for a long time. So uh, come on over to the Hall of Science and see this great exhibit with all these wild fish. Michael Lane, I'm the Director of Exhibit Services at the New York Hall of Science. And this is actually our 40th show since I've been here doing traveling exhibits, and um, yeah. so we've been very busy. And this is the crew here. So now we have to clean all this out to get the other truck in, So we can, and that's more loose pieces, so the plan is to get the big carts down before the crowds come. The really hard part about what we're doing now is the fact this is the first time, usually we go into the Great Hall, or we can go into the Scoozy, where we have the space, we lock the door, and that's it. Now we're trying to load in an exhibit and keep the exhibit hall open all at the same time, which is, we've never done that. We have one of the two tanks installed when the pumps blew out, so, so we have to get a new pump. Uh, so basically, we were only able to get two things done, this and the boat. And now we're concentrating on trying to get the dance floor to get free over here. And we're trying to work our way back to try to get the space worked out, because it's going to be very tight in a couple areas. I'm just trying to avoid having to move um, the model table, which is very difficult to move. So after we get the theater set up, the next priority is going to be get the other um, the Tetris tank together which is the duck end tank where you can go up underneath and you can look up through a little bubble like you're under, underwater. So we'll be concentrating on that probably in an hour or two. You have a lot of things going on in here. You have live biological specimens, which is the stingray and the piranha that are coming in. And I think they have about a dozen tropical fish coming in. This shows different stages of uh, flood stages in the Amazon basin. And apparently, there's going to be water in there that's going to show different flood stages inside the graphics. We've just received uh, some of our fish uh, fishes here. We have the red-bellied piranha in our other tank. Here we have the tetras and some other fish that you can also find in the large river of the Amazon and its tributaries. Um, we also have a freshwater stingray over uh, on the other side of the floor here. My name is James Herring. I'm from the Miami Museum of Science in Miami, Florida. Uh, this is where Amazon Voyage first uh, originated and um, it was conceptualized there by Sean Duran and uh, there was another very significant person, an artist named Ray Troll out of Alaska, who thought up the idea for the exhibit and uh, we developed it there, built it, uh, and now it's been on the road for about five years and it has traveled starting first at the Smithsonian and 
It's gone to many, many major museums around the country. There are uh, areas within the exhibit that explore different ecosystems within the river system. There's another area called Tetra's Journey, which is talks about the fish trade and how tropical fish are brought from South America to the United States and around the world, really. But specifically, um, there's an area that talks about how it comes to the United States and gets to your living room. It's just a, it's just a fabulous of the show, so I hope everyone will come to see it.